Ken, whether we're in a bubble or not, whether we're seeing froth or not, um, there is going to come a point in time where this market corrects. What do you think is going to do well when these markets correct? And do you think private assets will outperform? Do you think the mark-to-market -market issue will actually work in their favour? The fact that you don't have to do it in the same way that you have to in public markets. Will there be an illiquidity premium when we do that, have that correction? By the way, there always is. Uh, people tend to, uh, when things get uh, uh, pretty bubbly, you know, they, they discount liquidity. And liquidity is an asset. By the way, it's one of the reasons why you're seeing this IPO boom in SPACs. Liquidity is a worthwhile thing to have. So I agree with uh, liquidity will come to the forum. And, Guy, it'll all come down to leverage. It always does. And so I think there's lots of great ways to put your money to work and to be involved with this market and I would just discourage people from taking on that marginal bit of risk on leverage. Um, time is your friend here, and leverage is your enemy, And because le leverage is uncontrollable, and leverage comes and, and, and tends to, people want their money back, usually at the exact moment you really don't want to give it back to them. So this is a great point, because we're reaching record amounts of leverage in corporate America also, Ken. And you, know, you started your career over at Drexel Burnham, so you know a thing or two about leverage and the dangers of it and where it goes from here. Do you have any concerns about, you know, at, at, frankly, corporate and sovereign balance sheets right now? Look, there are, some, there are some industries that have had to take on leverage in the pandemic just to get through it. I, I think that that's one of the things we're missing here is that, sure, the Fed provided liquidity, but the economy is going to have to come back and, and recalibrate and cover enough cash flow to actually cover leverage that's been taken on to get through this. So I worry a little about that. Um, I don't see uh, leverage throughout the system. Um, again, Warren Buffett always says that when the, when, the, when the tide goes out, you see who's swimming naked. And it does amaze me, by the way, Shanali, at the underlying hidden risks that you find once the tide goes out. And so I, I always wonder what I don't know. I think there, there may be leverage going on behind the scenes that isn't as obvious to all of us as we think. But I, again, my, my comment would be to stay away from that. 